In this video, I will talk a bit about my practice of planning and life mapping, I suppose, in a pocket-sized traveler's notebook. Let's do it. It has been over a year since I have posted anything uh, planner related and uh, much has changed in that department so I thought it would be kind of fun to just uh, pop on and talk about kind of what I'm doing now and how it's changed from what I did uh, previously. So when you last saw me in Plannerland, I was utilizing my standard size traveler's notebook, one of them anyway, and uh, along with my, um, my field notes capture book and the occasional a sticky note that I would just kind of throw in there. Speaking of the sticky note, before I do anything else, I need to just take a moment to shout out Sylvia from Sylvia with a plan and uh, her channel. Um, Sylvia is fantastic if you like anything planner, notebook related, and you are not currently following Sylvia, highly recommend her stuff. She's been around uh, YouTube um, for quite some time, several years, and um, essentially what she is, what she did was take my uh, sticky note video, my ten day sticky note video that I posted last year, and she rolled with my framework and just kind of evolved it for herself into a system that works for her, and it was just it was so fun to see my concept being utilized by another content creator and just having it really come alive for that individual. And I'm not sure if she's still doing 10 day planning, um, but she had been for a few months and it was, um, 10 day planning is something that I utilize. I will talk, um, I'll link a couple videos that I did last year and, um, I'll probably do more in the future about kind of how I do that and why I do that. I did touch on that a bit in those previous videos, but I might do a little update on that. But 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 Sylvia was, was amazing and she did several videos and I don't know if she did a playlist. If she did, I'll link it. I'll try to link a few uh, videos that she did um, over the summer with uh, utilizing my framework and it was just, it was so fun to watch. So Sylvia, I loved your videos. They were fantastic. And I'm so glad that my approach worked for you in that time of your life. It just made me so happy watching that unfold uh, for her. And yeah, it was just good. So yeah, go, 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 go watch Sylvia if you haven't. Okay. I can move on with my life now. So yeah, standard size traveler's notebook, field notes, and the occasional sticky note just kind of tossed in. What that ended up morphing into this year, um, it kind of, the process kind of started in May, but in July it really took off. Uh, what it en what ended up happening was I started using this guy for um, for my capture book, and I threw in a book for my um, someday maybe um, kind of just long term lists that I want to keep as well as um, some financial stuff. Um, and I just I just threw those all in here, but I was still utilizing my monthly calendar um, from the my Traveler's Company monthly calendar just to kind of just do my general planning. But what ended up happening was I loved being in here so much that eventually I tossed in another booklet and essentially created my own calendar. And um, I have been I have been doing that since. July and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. I'm still using my standard size traveler's notebook. That will never go away. Um, but what it kind of morphed into was less planning and more memory keeping, just jotting um, some highlights and important things and recording appointments and things that were important that I might want to look back on and just storing some lists in the back and some ephemera and random bits and pieces like that. And it just turned into kind of a cool little snapshot annual book, which I, of memories, which I ended up really, really 
liking a lot. And um, that's what I intend to do in 2025 as well. I will still get my dated monthly and some of the other things from Traveler's Company for the for the year. But as far as planning goes, it's October. I don't know. Could change. There's still some of the year left. But as of now, based on my experience using this, um, I like this so much I'm going to continue using it. By the way, this is a Chic Sparrow pocket size traveler's notebook with four strings and uh, cascade pockets. Um, after this little bit, I'm going to go top down with a voiceover and just show you kind of the innards on the inside, what it looks like. So pocket planning has been my bay. It's been my bay since May. I think that's what I'm going to title this video, just simply because it was a poet and didn't know it moment. And it makes me happy. I'll probably also do another video just on my capture book, just because it's become such an important part of my daily life and daily routine. And it's a bit, it's similar to what I posted last year, but some stuff is a bit updated as far as kind of how I, what I do on a regular basis. So um, I'll show you the basic innards now, and then I'm, I will break it down probably in subsequent videos. Is that all I wanted to say for this intro bit? There will be a lot of intros in my car coming up, I think, just because by the time I get home, I just don't want to do anything else. And I have these moments when school is done and the kids have left and then inspiration will just strike and I need to just like film as soon as possible before it all goes away. So when I'm done with my day, I just plop into my car and turn on the video and just start talking to myself and hope that I don't look silly. Who am I kidding? I don't care if I look silly. We'll switch over and now do top down with voiceover for, for this lovely, lovely thing. Okay, here we go. And now to the meat and potatoes up close and personal look at this lovely little pocket sized traveler's notebook from Chic Sparrow. Once again, this is in the antique brown and it has uh, four strings uh, with cascade pockets, which I will show in just a few minutes. Um, this has patinaed so beautifully. The shine is incredible and the scratches and the marks are just so perfect for my taste preference and this style of notebook and I'm I'm really thrilled with this with this cover and um, I really don't think this will be my last <laughs> cover from Shakespeare. I do plan on getting a couple more eventually um, maybe another pocket size and also um, maybe a couple in larger sizes as well uh, they're very well made I did learn this is a this company is based in Spokane which I think is in Washington which I think is interesting because I lived there for five years Year, so um, I like the fact that I'm supporting a Washington State based company. I'll quickly show you the pens I've been using. This is a Sarasa Grand Vintage in green, black, and right now I have a 0.5 ink. I did have a 0.3 refill in there, and I like those uh, 0.3s. They aren't scratchy, uh, but the 0.5 is what I had on hand, and so that's what I tossed in there. Um, and then this is the uh, my very old, trusty Pilot um, High Tech C Coletto. Um, multi-pen with pink and blue black and brown this cover has a, a sewn-in pen loop it's really good quality it does stick out a little bit and um, that's taken some getting used to but I'm I'm getting to that point where I'm okay with it so on the left we have the cascade pockets and here is the um, invocation card that was an extra card from the new chapter tarot I really like that card and I um, I've carried it with me since I've got it as well as my dot on paper empress which i have carried for about three years now those just stay in the pockets and in the back i keep um, my lunar new year stamps so this is the year of the dragon i do get those every year so i keep those back there and i just have some other bits and pieces and there is also a main larger pocket on the left there i just have a random piece of something um, in that pocket 
you'll see I have this stuffed to the brim with field notes. The first book is the Portland edition, which is my calendar. The second book is my capture book, and this is in the Charming Beer, which I love. My Someday Maybe is the XOXO 2019, and the Mile Marker is my financial stuff. And I do carry uh, my previous capture book, the one that I was in before, um, and that's the, just in case I need to reference it, and that is the Flora edition. I did that in honor of my cat, Flora, who passed away in August. In in the back uh, cover there is a large secretarial pocket and I just have some uh, little reminders and a list or two in there um, that's also a really nice high quality pocket each of those inserts it's on its own string so it's a four string notebook um, the field notes fit in here really really nicely it's still relatively compact um, while at the same time um, carrying a lot. I also do keep my passport size coffee and notebooks, um, Shtajiki uh, writing board. I do use it as a writing board, but I also use it as sort of a bookmark in my capture book just so I can flip to the current page that I am on. For my calendar, in July, I started experimenting with um, just sort of calendar layouts as far as what I what I might want to use. I do have a bit of a different vision for that for 2025, which I will talk about in uh, another video. My capture book, my second book, this is the book um, hands down that I am in the most. Um, this is where I write everything down, <laughs> just everything that comes to mind and some of it gets dealt with right there directly in that book and then some items go elsewhere um, just depending on uh, what the what the context is it's essentially a combination of GTD getting things done uh, the rapid logging aspect of bullet journaling and Mark Forrester's autofocus system it's my own hybrid um, framework kind of incorporating those three systems actually um, since this voiceover is in the future I'm actually out of that insert now and I've moved into vignette um, I'm in the vignette edition now which I will feature later what you're seeing now is my previous um, capture book before charming beer the flora edition so that's kind of what it looks like when it's full and when everything has been tended to um, I think I need to do a video purely on my capture book and how I work through tasks and items and since it's there we'll just take a look at the coffee and notebook shtajiki because it's so pretty and it just goes right in there and it's marks its place and I just love it so much um, the XOXO 2019 this is my essentially it's like my someday maybe lists things that are longer term um, like uh, documentaries I might want to watch, cafes I might want to visit, purchases I might want to do um, in the future. Um, none of it is set in stone. It's just, I might want to do that eventually. And so I just have this um, book of random lists, future oriented lists. And I have quite a bit of space left, so I'll be in that for quite some time. And the last insert is financial stuff. Um, I'm gonna keep that uh, private as of now. It's just some um, transactional stuff that I like to have an analog uh, copy of. I have discovered that digital budgeting is really good for me and I have um, had a really good experience dealing with money stuff, mostly digitally. So I do do most of that in a spreadsheet, but I do have that book for a few things. So yeah, overall, um, I love this system. I love this size. Um, it just works so well for me. And it's a lot easier actually than my standard traveler's notebook just to throw in my bag. I could still do that with my standard size, but it, this is just, it's so much more compact and just kind of easy to toss around here and there when I need it. I don't have any charms on my strings. Um, I might need to change that, but as of now, it's just, um, it's just kind of simple like that. And I love it so much. Oh, my Sarasa pen, I put in the loop and my Coletto, I um, attach the clip onto the loop itself. So that way I get 
two pens on there and I actually discovered I can put another one on the back um, but I typically don't just because I don't want to wear out that piece of leather I want to keep it in good shape so I think that's all for this one just a quick overview um, I'll do more videos going into depth but in the meantime take care and be well